moment uh, because it's it's late in the night, but there's a topic that I wanted to talk about. I want to talk about it because it's important. It is absolutely critical um, that you do this. Um, so what am I talking about? What is the topic that I'm talking about? Well, let me go ahead and let you know right now we're going to have it appear on the screen. Soft skills. So what are soft skills? Let's talk about it. So soft skills are essentially going to be the things that you do that can help land you a job. It's actually an article from CompTIA. It says 10 skills you did not know that could land you an IT job. So what about what are soft skills? So it's pretty well documented. There's lots and lots and lots of technical skills. Technical skills, things you need to be able to do. Configuring a router, setting up a firewall, doing a backup, uh, imaging a system, compliance, security, policy, all those things. These are all technical skills. Now, they may be, some may be more technical, some may be management. That's okay. But let's talk about skills you did not know that could land you an IT job. So these, the ability to stay... Uh, organize, communicate, and among other things, it will set you apart. And I can say this is not really just true in IT. This is true in any job. You can have soft skills. You can communicate. You can be an effective leader. You can be a listener, be a, a follower. These will allow you to be successful in other industries as well. So don't think just because you have this here that it's, it's got to be IT related. So take this uh, for what it's worth. Again, I'm not an expert on all these things. I'm not a psychology expert, not a, you know, uh, HR manager, but have managed people. And I can say that these to me are things that ring true. Every time that I've been in a position when there was a problem or there was somebody to blame or there was a, you know, egos getting bruised. So soft skills. Are... Let's look at the first one. So First of all, um, they have a nice career which is, I want to give credit to CompTIA because they are the nonprofit leader of uh, certifications. These are the kind of the de facto standard when a lot of these IT certifications, a lot of these industry you know, best practices, they, they, they have a lot. So, so you might think you're not cut out for IT because you don't have the right technical skill. But you may have already, you may already have the secret sauce. So what does that mean? So, um, you know, being excited and having a willingness to learn. Absolutely. So uh, ignore kind of the technical skills, the hands-on experience. You know, you can get hands-on experience. You can get certifications. All these things, that's great. So if you can have, um, like, you can't be taught with soft skills. They're really something you either have or you don't. You can be kind of learn some here and there practice them but some people just are going to have better soft skills than others it's going to happen so communication so as an it pro you need to be able to communicate well not just supervisors interestingly enough it's not just supervisors it's also your colleagues so if you can t you know right like what we're doing right now we're communicating with each other like mostly it's right now I'm one way you're you know receiving it or watching this much later but if you can't communicate with people you know you got to be able to write you got to be able to talk you got to be able to speak so it's uh, even though many of the jobs you, know, you might work in a server room it's like that movie uh Con Air of Nicolas Cage says yeah I'm just a lab rat working at, most of the time working in a glass jar lead a very uneventful life what I'm dealing with here one of the most deadliest substances you ever know to man. You know, you know how. It, but people that are technical quite often don't have the ability to talk to people on their level. It's not about it's not about talking to people to talk. Like making anybody can make small talk. What it really comes down to is can you can you communicate your point? Can you get your message across? So um so being able to communicate in the IT space, so you can you can have the best, you know, experience certifications and slides but if you can't communicate it's going to be hard for people to follow you it's going to be hard for people to understand what you're doing so that's number one 
communication. Number two, organization. So being organized, it's 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 this is a tough one. So um, multitasking. So it, it's it's a double edged sword. So you can multitask so much that not getting anything done. You're not accomplishing what you're supposed to get done. So, you know, I, I've been guilty of this myself. I'll be doing things like six different things when only I need to focus on one thing. So I'm doing all these things to try and, try and get all the tasks achieved. And I could have just focused on one thing, done that one thing the best, the best that I possibly can. So that's absolutely vital. So multitasking, organization, you got to organize yourself first. If you don't know yourself, you don't know what you can do, you don't know what your strengths and weaknesses are, it's going to be hard. Like, so basically things like keeping track of a schedule, use a planner, use some of these digital assistants like, you know, I have myself an Amazon A-Word back there. I have Google Home. Use, you know, use your phone. Phone is also a tool. So there are plenty of, plenty of tools out there. There's a calendar, there's a scheduler. Of course, if that doesn't work, there's always the good old fashioned notebook. Write things down. This is actually, I got this notebook from Indeed.com. I uh, really like it. It's a nice quality notebook. It's got a, this binding over it so you can close it up. And you know, it's just a, just a cool, cool notebook. Really well done. Get yourself a good pen. Good pen. This, I mean, I like those, uh, like, not ballpoint. You can kind of see this here. I like pens that write well. Organize yourself. Put your important numbers, your important information. You know, maybe have a couple different places. You can write it down on your phone for sure. But also, what about good old fashioned? Write it down in a notebook. In the military, I carried a notebook all the time. Notebook was like a, a required item. Notebook was designed to be the your brain. Didn't have your notebook. Many times, you just didn't have your brain. You didn't have your properly accountable item. And it's easy to forget things. So being able to prioritize tasks. So, you know, it's definitely a thing. So sometimes you might be looking at a problem. And you're just spinning your wheels, just beating your head against the wall. Same problem all day long. So that's so organizing yourself. is very important. Or that'll help translate to your people as well. What about analytical? So this is obviously important. So you've got to solve problems. And usually analytical comes down to something like a root cause, root cause analysis. So can you solve a problem? Figure out why something occurred in the first place. Was there a reason why something occurred? Was it something that you did wrong? Was there, you know, there's all different kinds of uh, things that can happen. So, so you want to think about those things very much. I'm trying to adjust the lighting here a little bit. This is kind of a funny uh, lighting object I have here. So I can always do it in software, but it's eh, I like natural light better. So being able to analyze the problem, so keep it down to the simplest level. They talk about the OSI model. They talk about layer one. Being able to troubleshoot. You know, sometimes. Making thing, a complicated solution is not the answer. Sometimes the easiest solution is the answer. We had a saying in the military, keep it simple, stupid. Or keep it stupid, simple. Now, it's not putting anybody down. It just means that sometimes the answer is the simple one is the right one. I like that. So, you know, write down the answers, you know, analyze data. Maybe being able to look at data and spreadsheet. Identifying trends, uh, key performance indicators, metrics. These are always things that people talk about. They want metrics for everything. So try and analyze data, look at it a different way. And it, it's hard to analyze data that you worked on. Maybe have an outside perspective on something that you may have looked at. So creativity, of course, this is absolutely vital. You know, if you don't want to try to be the best or be better, um, it doesn't mean that the other people that are doing the work alongside you aren't good, but you want to try to come up with new and creative ways to solve problems. Being creative, you know, there's there's creativity, and, and sometimes you can get lost in like when it, when you spend so much time trying to be creative that you 
forget or you just don't get the job done. So you got to be careful with creativity. That's just me. Anyway, creativity is good, but you want we, we call it the good idea fairy. So don't spend too much time with the good idea fairy. So project management. All right, so this one is going to happen. Like you're going to be juggling multiple projects, especially if you're, you know, if you're a help desk person, you might have, you know, working on systems. You might have meetings. You might have, uh, you know, user awareness training. You might have lots of different things you have to track. So project management is becoming a much greater skill. Um, you know, being able to, to get things done, get things, get things done. Simple as that. You have the right aptitude for project management. Can you? Bring a project from beginning to end. Can you, you know, and also recognizing the help of colleagues. So trying to do everything yourself is not the answer either. But being able to manage people, resources, vitally important. Number six, perseverance. Don't give up. Give up, quit. That's a problem. Easy to identify quitters in the military. There are many different schools where they try to get, um, Twitter the first day, for example, when I went through the uh, the SEAL screener at the Naval Academy, they tried to get somebody to quit the very first day. Something that they try to get you to basically just just give up, just quit, and you can go back to the easy easy road. So sometimes it's it's more difficult to take the harder road. It's it's you know, easy if it were easy, you know, everyone would do it. Anybody can do take the easy road. So how you respond to challenges, how you rise to the occasion. These are these are the things that, like they say, when the going gets tough, the tough gets going, or the tough gets Googling. All right, problem solving. So this kind of goes back to uh, creativity. So solving problems, you know, it, it's so much fun when something comes together and you figure out why you know, your device, your phone, your printer, your computer, your graphics card, whatever – is not doing what it's supposed to do. So if you if you love troubleshooting, if you love figuring out how things work, then IT may be your way, maybe your your calling. So some of it can be done through tinkering, some can be done through trial and error, but just basic problem solving. So being able to come up with a theory, test a theory, try and fix it. Problem solving number eight: resourcefulness. So you have to be able to use what resources you have. You're not ever going to have all the resources you need, but your employers are going to notice when you're using creativity with the resources you do have. So if you're constantly seeking out new resources, this can be a career changer. You, you don't always have to have the right answer. You just got to know where to look and who to talk to. Lean on your subject matter experts, people that know what they're doing, have been there a long time. All right, so curiosity. So natural curiosity, this is absolutely vital. Um, just being curious about new IT, new tech, new things that come out, new, new, new protocols. Um, I tell people all the time in my classes, you know, look at the RFCs. Look at the, the information that's out there. But be curious about how something actually works. Don't just take the superficial answer or the, the, the easy answer. So be creative. Have that natural curiosity and finally help other people you don't give back I, just like when i did my top 10 things video give back to it in some way help others you know not everyone gets the same place at the same time so be able to give back information be able to share if you're not sharing knowledge you're just doing it wrong i'm sorry um some may say this is the best the most the most vital skill being able to work as a team if you know something and your buddy, your friend, your coworker, your colleague doesn't know something, you're doing them a disservice. Now, if, they, if you try to present something to them, they don't care. That's, that's different. But be the catalyst for change. Have an interest in helping other people grow. Help them get to the next level. That's when you know you really arrived. Those are absolutely 10 things. 10 things that... Now you know the soft skills, you can figure out what aligns with what you want to do. So curiosity, resourcefulness, problem solving, perseverance, project management, creativity, being able to analyze data, 
organizational skills and of course communication so let me know in the comments what you what was your most important skill or the one you liked the most um, also let me know if there's one maybe that you you lacked or maybe there's something that's not on this list that you think should be here so i'm sure there's and only keeping it to 10 things that's obviously difficult but just uh let me know what you thought hope this video was helpful to you help put things in perspective so about finding soft skills and about finding your own what you're good at because not everyone's good at different so i appreciate your attention i want to thank you first and foremost for watching me watching this channel um, i want to grow this channel not just in gaming but i also want to grow it other ways too um, ethical hacking it i want to i want to bring people in that have no experience in it i want them to watch these videos and, and get something out of it if you can get something out of it hopefully become a little more knowledgeable or get a better job or uh, maybe get an internship I'd love to make that happen for you so thank you so much we'll see you guys next time